Hi everyone, I want to show you the go-to makeup look I've been doing for my eyes almost every day this month in July. It's a pretty easy, quick look. It's all drugstore makeup, and in fact, I extended that to all the makeup on my face is from the drugstore, except for my blemish concealer. I just couldn't give up my beloved Urban Decay concealer pencil. So, but other than that, everything else you can find at CVS, Walgreens, Walmart, your high street, chemist, what have you. So. Stay tuned and I'll show you how I do it. So the first thing we're gonna do is a base. I really don't have an issue with creasing, but it just, I feel like it brings out the colors better. So what I like to use are the 24 hour color tattoos and this one is in Barely Branded. And um, you can use a brush, but I prefer to use my finger. And I concentrate it on the lid and then just kind of pull it up. Get it in the inner corner, it's a nice instant highlight. Then I like to lay down my crease color first because I'm layering a lot of colors on top of that and it just adds dimension without getting lost in all the other colors. And the, my favorite brown for this uh, from the drugstore is NYX in brown, single eyeshadow, and it's just brown. Now if you're having trouble blending because the, color, the primer is a little sticky, you can do a little translucent powder over it. I'm just gonna go right in. I'm using a tapered blending brush and just swirling it around. Close your eyes a little bit, not all the way, tilt your head back so you can kind of see where your natural crease is and just swish it in there. If it sticks a little bit, if you didn't lay down that translucent powder first, don't worry, the window wiping method here will eventually blend it all out. And we're layering color on top of this, so now if you have slightly hooded eyes like I do, or just flat out hooded eyes, leave your eyes open and look in the mirror and make sure that you can see the color when your eyes are open. So if you have to go a little above your crease, that's okay. If you feel like you need a little blending, my favorite true blending brush, it's only available at Walmart, it's a double-ended brush. It has this little pencil tip at one side and the much larger fluffy brush on the other. It's part of a set of three brushes. It's their high definition brush set. If I can find it online, I'll put a link to it below. And I just go, I don't always do this step, but just to blend out the edges. Now for the lid color. The two main colors I'm using are both L'Oreal Infallible shadows. I bought them right when they came out and I still love them and I want to add more to my collection. The one I'm using on my lid is Iced Latte. And I'm going to use a Real Techniques brush. This one is the base shadow brush. I like that it has a little, almost like a, comes to a point. So you can really get into just under the crease and just into the inner corner. So just pat that down and see that point gets right into the inner corner. With a color like this, you don't need an extra highlighting shade. I'm gonna run that just into the eye a little bit underneath. Now for the outer corner, a little bit of crease color. Again, L'Oreal Infallible. This one is in Amber Rush. It's a warm, bronzy, metallic. I love these colors. I'm taking a Sigma brush. It's I don't know what it's called now, but it's their dupe of the MAC 217. I have the old one. And I'm dipping the point in and the flat side because I'm going to lay down a little color along the edge, like flat here, and then I'm going to go with the tip and work it into my crease. So like that, and then like that, and then tap it off. So first, I'm just going to almost completely shut my eye and just lay it flat just on the outer corner, tap that in, and then with the edge of the brush, bring it up in small circular motions. And again, at that point, when you bring it up into the crease, you wanna open your eye to make sure you can see where the color is. This hooded eye thing, while it is common as you age, people, young people have it, 15 year olds have it, so um, it's just the shape of your eye. And you gotta work with what you have. You can bring this as far in as you'd like. I bring it about, I guess, halfway. That's it. If you want to bring some of the color under your eye, I have a tiny little smudger brush. This is known as the Accent Brush from Real Techniques. If you haven't guessed, I am a fan of this line. And just get a little bit on the brush. And I just do just a little bit. I should also add, I also have my mascara on. I have everything, all my makeup on, except the eye makeup. Except I did put on mascara. Now 
Now you can stop here with the eyeshadow, but for me, I just feel like an eye look isn't done until you've done something with the um, brow bone. And uh, my go-to is <laughs> this very well-loved Wet n Wild uh, single eyeshadow in Brulee, but they're impossible to find now. I have four backups, but something I would recommend is finding a, if, if you just want a matte or a satin highlight, you don't want the actual metallic type thing, you could just grab your translucent powder and use this. Um, this is the Stay Matte Press Powder in translucent. If you want a little more pigment, just go with one, maybe a half a shade darker than your actual skin tone. When you brush, when you blend it out with a brush, you won't be able to tell that it's not quite the perfect match. It'll look more like this. So I'm just gonna use that same fluffy brush I use for blending and throw it in here. And this is great for just softening up any harsh lines. And I just feel like you can even use it along the outer edge to blend. I just feel like it just finishes it. I don't know. It's a personal preference. And I feel like my inner corner here is a little much, so I'm going <laughs> to blend that down a bit. So that's it for eyeshadow. And then for eyeliner, I've been using this all summer, and I really like it. It's the Milani Liquid Eye Liquid Light. They've completely reformulated it and changed. Well, I don't know if they've reformulated it, but they've added the name to make more name, they've added more to the name, that's what I wanted to say, to make it even more complicated. So it's called the Milani Liquid Eye Liquid Like Eyeliner Pencil. And it's in the color brown. All that for just brown. And what I like is it's, a, it's an automatic pencil. I hate sharpening pencils. And then I just, I know you're not supposed to pull on your eye, but I wouldn't say I pull, I just place my finger, close my eye, and I just follow the lash line. That's it. We're not doing anything cute. Now, if you want to soften the look a little bit, you can go back with your brown eyeshadow and that little accent brush, or even the pencil end of the Walmart brush, and just go back along it. I'm gonna try it with the pencil side. So I'm going to take the pencil side, swirl it around in there, tap it off. I will say the nice thing about this is that once it sets, it doesn't budge, this eyeliner. There is nothing liquid-like about it at that point. It is not moving. So, it's not complete without a little zhuzh of the hair. This is the final look. Um, you've seen it in a lot of my videos this month. I've been wearing it pretty much every day. It, it's it's an easy look without a lot of fuss and it it just I feel like it warms up my face it plays up any hint of tan I may have it perhaps makes me look a little more tan it obviously works well with green eyes and um, it's a very affordable look so if you don't have these colors let's say you have Mac what I've been using sometimes in place of the drugstore is I would use Mac wedge in the crease um, MAC Sable in the outer corner and MAC Nylon on the lid, but I really have to say that I reach for the drugstore ones most for this look. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it and um, hope your summer's been going well and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.